For some applications of trigonometry, you will need to know the meanings of the angle of elevation and angle of depression. Let's start off with this right triangle here, and let's go ahead and label some things. I'm going to call this here the horizontal. We could think of it as ground level as well. And I'm going to call this right here the line of sight. Let's first start off with the angle of elevation. So let's pretend that you're standing at ground level. The angle of elevation is going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal while looking up. So let me say that again. If you're standing at ground level and looking up at an object, the angle of elevation is going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal. So that would be this angle right here. So we'll call this angle the angle of elevation. You're looking up at an object. Let's go ahead and write that out. So the angle of elevation is going to be formed when you're looking up at an object, and it is going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal. Let's talk about the angle of depression. It's a similar idea, except instead of looking up at an object, for the angle of depression, you'll be looking down at an object. So typically, you'll be starting off at a higher site. So it's not at ground level. And the angle of depression is going to be, while looking down at an object, it's going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal. Now, we have the horizontal down here, but what I'm going to do is construct another horizontal that is parallel to that one below. So this right here is also considered a horizontal. So the angle of depression is going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal. So it is going to be this angle right here. Let me go ahead and draw an arrow and list it over here. So this is the angle of depression. Notice that the angle of depression is not an angle of the triangle. It's located outside of the triangle. Let's go ahead and write the definition. So we said the angle of depression is formed by looking down at an object. And similarly to the angle of elevation, it is going to be the angle that your line of sight makes with the horizontal. What we did to construct that horizontal is we drew a line that was parallel to the original horizontal. And we considered that our horizontal for the angle of depression. Let's go back up to the triangle, because this question here is asking us, what do you know about the angle of elevation and angle of depression? Let's go back up here. Looking at this, does this look familiar? We've learned about this in the past. The angle of elevation and angle of depression are what types of angles? They're alternate interior angles. You see that Z shape here? So if we used the yellow lines, so there are two parallel lines, and the red is our transversal. Those two angles are alternate interior angles in this diagram. So one thing that we notice about these angles are that these angles must be congruent. Why? Because if we have two parallel lines, cut by a transversal, then we know that the alternate interior angles are congruent. So what this means is, anytime you're given a problem that focuses on the angle of elevation or angle of depression,
in order to make it easy on yourself, instead of drawing out this another horizontal line and then focusing on the line of sight here for the angle of depression, what you can do is just list your angle of elevation and angle of depression as this same angle in the bottom corner. So what I like to do for these word problems is I like to think about anytime I'm given the angle of elevation or angle of depression, I always put them in the same spot. So we construct our right triangles there. I put the angle of elevation here. And if it's an angle of, if it is an angle of depression problem, excuse me, I put it in that same spot. Because we know by the alternate interior angles, those are always congruence. We'll pick back up with the second video in just a moment.